here. How are you today? Today is Tuesday, the 16th of June. So today we are going to check pages from the exam Micey Miser 44, 45, and 46. I'm going to talk about noon to mention uh, the mistakes from the brainstorming and the three minutes video that you sent me explaining uh, the story. Uh, we are going to go to unit 7, pages 76, 77, 78, and 79. The review there on page 79. Uh, we are going to um, practice dependent prepositions, react to, associate with, etc. Then I have prepared for today a practice uh, for the global exam full of grammar from unit 1 to 6 and uh, vocabulary, words and phrasal verbs. Okay? Uh, I suppose you have been studying from the day I sent you the notes. Yes? Okay? Then you're going to um, do as homework, a writing from page 78 from the class book, exercise 5, yes, PDF, PDF, por favor. Hay gente que sigue mandando todavía cosas que no son PDF. Yes, okay, parece que, creo, I think, I believe that there are some students who are not watching the complete classes. Yes, because I can realize in the results. Yes, okay, so this is up to you. If you are not responsible, I can't be responsible for you. Then I will notice in your results, okay? Well, and then uh, that email and these um, pages, pages, uh, no, these uh, exercises from pages, from page 47. Exercise three, yes, okay, I will show you. Yes, from page 47. Yes, 40, 40, 40, 47. Okay. Exercise three from there. And then exercises one, two, and three. Okay. Is it clear? Good. So there we are. We are going to check pages. Okay. Good. And first of all, um, the one who sent uh, the brainstorm. I made, uh, I sent you messages to, I sent messages to all the students that didn't send the brainstorming and the, um, the video explaining the short story. Remember I told you that I need uh, this, um, this homework, yes, the brainstorming and the video three minutes to evaluate you in literatura complementaria, the grades, yes, okay, for the boletines de calificaciones, está? So, uh, only three people handing, handing in, yes, handed in the brainstorming, and only two people, two students, the video. So, you are not being uh, responsible enough, yes, okay? I am working in a responsible way, yes, so I hope you work the same way, yes, okay, is it clear? So I sent you messages, please, uh, and apart from that, you know, next class we have the global exam. If you hand in, yes, delay homework, yes, I am the person who have Overbooking, yes, who have more things as the usual to correct. I organize my corrections, so I want you to organize, yes, the time when you're handing the homework. Okay, is it clear? I sent notes, yes, I have already sent uh, the note that we, are, we were going to use the short story before using them, yes, ok, so, I hope you organize, si, ¿sí? se les manda todo con mucho tiempo, con antelación, para que se pongan en campaña, a buscar las short stories, a comprarlas, entonces no puede ser que me digan, no tengo la short story todavía, si, ¿sí? yo mandé las short stories mucho antes de empezar a trabajar, entonces, quiero que trabajen en forma responsable, por favor, Yes, okay, good. O si no, me llenan a mí de trabajos eh, que me entregan tarde y yo tengo organizado el trabajo, los tiempos de corrección, chicos. ¿Sí? 
Ahora, ya tengo que tener esta semana correcciones de los globales, entonces no me... Más. This one, yes, más el email que me van a mandar, y me van a mandar brainstormings atrasado y vídeos atrasados. Ahora, si yo fuese una persona que te pongo, sí, papito, te va todo re bien, very good, excelente, yo me pongo y pongo transcripciones completas de los errores que tienen, tanto en los, en los videos orales, tanto, y ustedes ya saben las maneras de corrección de los PDFs que me mandan. ¿Está? Yo hago una evaluación completa. ¿Sí? ¿Está? Ok. Good. Uh, let's go to check. Um, well, let's go. A ver. Uh, we have Terry, Santi, and Martin. Yes, okay. Captain. Yes, Santi. Pronuncia esto, eh. Wanted. Ojo con los verbos. Treasure. Morning. Que no suene esa R. Morning. Accepted. Major. Major. Disappeared. Wanted. Captain. Morning. Accepted. Disappeared. Disappeared. Major. Some couldn't murderer, police, no police, police, captain, yes, okay? Martin, sign, arrives, yes, ojo, eh? Chicos, cuando cuentan toda la historia, o la cuentan todo en pasado, o la cuentan todo en presente, but not miss the tenses, yes? Sign, ojo, Martin, arrived in, y arrived at, at, yes, okay? Arrived big places, in, And arrive at small places. For example, arrive in Spain, arrive at the airport. Yes, okay? That, uh, that were uh, four, creo que quisiste decir, eh? Ojo con, that was, that were, yes? Man, men. Man is the singular, men is the plural. Yes? Tenses, yes? Si quiero volver atrás en el pasado, uso el past perfect. Yes, okay? Uh, Santi wanted to infinitive, yes? Helped him to escape, por ejemplo, yes, ok, good, y bueno, después los demás están corregidos, eh, los uh, uh, spelling or grammar mistake in the, in the PDF, what I was saying here were the um, mistakes from the oral, ok, good, pronunciation and everything, good, so let's go very quickly to uh, page 44, we are going to check, yes, page 44, from the exam, Maisy Maisa, Yes, okay. There we are. Number one. I watched this fascinating program last night about exercise. It is said that if you did just three minutes of extend exercise a week, you would get. Yes, okay, number one, good get. Number two, keeps. Number three, will be. Number four, worked. Number five, are. Number six, good fun. Number seven, don't exercise. Number eight, good save. Okay, exercise two. If I am hungry, I eat eggs because they fill me up. Two, what would you do if you twisted your ankle? Yes, three, conditionals. Past good infinitive. I would take a painkiller if I have a headache. I will, I will give you that diet information if you want it. With a present plus will, yes, okay? If I were you, I would go to bed earlier. Number six, do you think milk? Do you, do you drink milk if your muscles ache after exercise? Or after exercise if, or after exercise if your muscles ache? Yes, okay, good. Page 45. Exercise one, yes, okay, the mistake was provided that you have to put unless. Number two, I must stop eating so much, otherwise I will get fat. Three, you will have he health problem unless, problems unless you eat healthy, healthily and take regular exercise. Number four, Steve wants to be a nurse, provided that he passes his final exam. Number five, if you want, I will give you a lift to the hospital. Otherwise, I'll see you later instead. Number six, Jenny said she would help me with my exercise plan this week, provided that 
she's she has the time okay number two one unless two provided that three unless four otherwise five unless six unless okay um 46 the reading okay good one a two c three c four b five a six b and that's all from here right so let's go to uh pages 76 77 76, 77, 78, and 79. 76. Yes, okay. Good, good, good. There we go. So, uh, what's your favorite color? Yes, uh, we're going to talk about uh, colors. Yes, what's your favorite colors and uh, the color you don't like the most? Yes, I don't like black. Yes, okay. Uh, I don't like purple and I like pink, I like fuchsia, I like turquoise, yes, okay, I like green too, yes, okay, and tell me, do you think that color, yes, that colors influence the way you feel, yes or no? So, the text you are going to read, yes, okay, oh, the things you are going to read here are about colors and the way they change your mood. Yes, they change your mood. Yes, so I think the way, uh, the colors you wear too, yes, they influence, yes, or they show you the way you feel, yes. If you wear, uh, okay, it's, it is as uh, black is associated with uh, death and not being uh, well yes okay for example if you wear bright color it means that you are okay yes and each color has a meaning yes okay so we are going to read you are going to read do you see what i see yes and you're going to be informed about color yes but i want you to talk at home alone yes about what colors you like what col colors you don't like Yes, why you like this color, yes, these colors, uh, and what colors you are used to wearing, yes, as regard clothes, yes, okay, good. So, let's go to uh, page 76, yes, okay, and remember, I'm going to give you the answers, but first of all, you have to read the text, yes, so, stop the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Number two, yes, two, a newspaper, yes, it is uh, taken from the newspaper. Number three, one D, yes, red means anger, yes, two F, yellow means happiness, three A, three A, relaxation, blue is relaxation, Number four, four E, depression. Five, green, five, 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 C, healing. Number six, orange is B, friendliness, okay? Did you notice that um, in, the, in this um, uh, series, Breaking Bad, you know, the... Um, the colors they show you all the time for example um, white, white Mr. White's um, wife yes always wears uh, green and Mr. White, uh, White's uh, sister-in-law always wears uh, purple yes so of course yes uh, I don't know if you have read, but I think, of course, um, the color they they show in each chapter episode, yes, it's meaningful for the um, the writer of the story, 
Yes, okay, for the producer. Yes, okay, good. But uh, pay attention, yes, or, uh, um, or maybe you can Google, yes, okay, to uh, inform you, yes, okay, to know about the colors that they use in this series, yes, in Breaking Bad. I, I think all of you uh, told me that you saw it before, yes, okay, but it calls my attention, yes, because uh, they show many colors, yes, if you wear, if you see, sorry, if you see the clothes they wear all the time, the decoration in their houses, yes, okay, it calls the attention, I think, the attention of all the spectators, yes, okay, well, uh, number four, uh, yes, okay, one A, 2C, 3A, 4A, yes, 5C, yes, 6B, yeah, okay, and I think that colors can influence our moods, yes, okay, um, well, Good, we have already talked about that. So let's go to 78, page 78. Yes, okay. So uh, it says, you have number one. Do you have a favorite time of the year or season? Is there a time of the year when you feel happier or sadder than usual? What do you think causes this, okay? So what's your favorite time of the year, okay? Uh-huh. It's winter, is it winter, is it summer, is it autumn? For me it's a uh, spring and I have two periods that I like, two seasons. Uh, it's spring, yes, and uh, summer. Spring because, you know, um, uh, the weather is very, very nice, there are a lot of flowers in spring. Uh, the clothes you wear in the springs are very fashionable, yes. And summer, because I am, uh, I relate summer because I am on holidays, so summer is the same, is equal as holidays for me, yes. And holidays uh, is relaxation for me. I can relax, I can share more moments with my family. I like uh, the colors of summer, the, the, the clothes, the color of the clothes in summer, yes. Um, uh, the beach, the sea, yes, and I relate the summer is the same as beach for me, yes, okay? So um, I want you to take, and I feel happy, yes, in summer. I don't like winter. I know that we don't have uh, winter. We almost don't have winter here in Formosa, but I don't like cold days. I don't like the clothes we wear in winter. Yes, the color of the clothes that uh, we wear in winter, the color of winter. I like, yes, I like the, the, the trees because they change, the leaves change their color, but I don't like cold days, yes, okay? I don't feel sad in winter, but I might feel sad, yes, because I don't like cold days, yes, okay? I prefer, I don't, don't misunderstand me, I don't like uh, uh, hot hot, hot, hot days, you know, I like the summer because I don't spend the summer in Formosa, yes, I don't like hot days, yes, I prefer spring, yes, the weather, with, uh, warm weather, yes, not very, uh, very hot, not very cold, yes, okay, the middle, yes, okay, well, so, um, let's go, I want you to talk about this, yes, and tell, and think, which is the uh, the period where you feel sad, yes, okay, sadder, yes, or happier, okay, so let's go to exercise two, what problems does Jordi have, and what advice could you give him, okay, I want you to read this, yes, stop the video, and then listen to the answers, okay, is it clear, good, so, number one is done. Number two, he gets depressed because there is much, there isn't much sun. This happened in, um, I think this happened because I have talked to some relatives we have there. Yes, in England, yes, it, they need sun. They need the sun. They need sunny days. And 
it is most of the time uh, cold, yes, and you know, I may think uh, the sun makes a person, can make a person feel uh, more energetic, yes, okay, um, well, number two is what advice could you give him, yes, okay, you should travel, you should go to, uh, you should move to a place where uh, there is more sun, yes, okay, what, what advice could you give? Yes, this is up to you, okay? So I want you to go to exercise three. You have, let's go to the grammar reference, 169, 169, 69, and you have a formal email, yes, okay? You know, when you are writing, we have already written formal emails, but I want you to highlight, yes, all the uh, grammar, the useful language, yes, and when you write your email, I want you to try and use different phrases that you haven't used before, okay? This is um, the way you can try new vocabulary, okay? So, uh, hi, Jonah, Jonas. Okay, so you have to um, inform my emails, you have to refer to previous email information, yes, do you use notes, yes, you know, great to hear from you, yes, uh, when you get the station, it's better to get a bus, as we live quite a long way from it, outside the station, turn left, blah, 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 do expand on your notes where you can, yes, okay, do order your email letter logically when separate paragraphs. Use, use sangria. Acordate, la sangria es lo que nos va a dividir párrafos desde el um, margen de la hoja. Comenzás con la sangría y escribís otra vez pegado al margen. Otra vez en el second paragraph te despegas del margen. Eso se llama sangría. Y seguís con la segunda frase a partir del, eh, del comienzo, desde donde comenzás el margen, ¿ok? La sangría siempre tiene que estar separada en el, la primera frase, cuando comenzás, la primera, the first, the, the first phrase, separado del margen. Y después seguís normal. Otra vez, second paragraph, separás del margen, escribís tu primera frase y después seguís pegado al margen, ¿ok? Dice sangría, separate the paragraphs, yes, you separate paragraphs. Okay, okay, each paragraph will, uh, uh, will be about a different topic, of course, yes, okay, and then do write an appropriate ending, la, uh, see you soon, write soon, okay, so you have to go to the grammar reference there, yes, okay, and you have all the points there and the new useful language, yes, okay, so, this is done, highlight the grammar, okay, so let's go to exercise three, now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities and then listen to the answer. Exercise three, four and five, and then we go to the uh, page 17, uh, 79, yes, that is the review, okay, good. Number uh, three, you, your car was lovely, thank you, the snow scenes are magical. Number two, this often happens here in Russia. When people don't see much sun, it can be very depressing. Number three, there's something you can try. I bought special sun lamp that you put in your room. If you sit it in, in front of it for some time, every day you feel better. You know, I didn't, I didn't know that there exists a sun lamp. Yes, okay, you can use it. This could be a good advice from this boy. Number four. I would love to come and see you both in the summer. I have a couple of weeks of August in off in August. Number four. One, I would love to. Two, hope all goes yes, all goes well with. Number three, it's good to hear that. Number four, is eso para el baño. Yes, llevas lo al baño. Okay, sorry. Hope all goes well with. Number three, it's good to hear that. Number four, I'm so sorry to hear that. Number five, there's something you can try. Number six, perhaps we can fit in a visit then. Then, okay. Number five, yes, okay. That would be an example. Okay, hi, Sammy. 
Thanks for your email. Great to hear that your move went well. Your move went well and you are enjoying the new house. The colors do sound a bit bright, but I'm sure you can make it work. In the bathroom, how about repainting the walls in a nice neutral cream? You could keep one of the walls in red or orange as a feature you like, as a feature you like. Actually, the yellow is the study in the study doesn't look too awful from your, from your photo. At least you are less likely to fall asleep with the walls bright. Uh, what's the lining like? A good light is so important when you are starting. This is true. Why don't you have a look for a large black and white poster about your desk too? It could cover up some of yellow, some of the yellow, without the hassle of painting the whole room. Yes. Anyway, good luck with it all. I'm hoping that when my exam finish, I will be able to come and visit you for a weekend. I could give you a hand with painting or shopping then, if you like. Best wishes, done. Okay, so that was an example. Yes, it will help you to write an email. You have received an email from an American friend, Sammy, who has just moved house. Read this part of the email and then write your email back. So. You have to write him back, yes, okay? You can give him advice, okay? Because it says, only problem is that the color scheme is a nightmare. The bedroom is orange and red, and my son is bright yellow. You are so good at colors and designs. Any suggestions? Do write soon. Ese duo adelante viene para enfatizar, chicos, okay? Good. Is it clear? I have given you uh, an example there. So let's go to, I want you to do the revision exercises one, two, three, and four. Do it and then listen to the answers. Number one, coma estuvo muy floja esa revisión, eh? Muy, muy floja. Ponete a ver los videos completos, yes? Ponete en campaña, míralos porque están todos en el classroom y a ver si te pones un poco en onda, yes? Okay? Number one, informal. Number two, cheerful. Number three, impatient. Number four, inexperienced. Number five, impolite. Number six, hopeless. Number seven, unlikely. Number eight, impossible. Number nine, useful. And number 10, careless. Okay, the opposite of carefully. Number two, I could, uh, uh, number two, one, good, we eat, lift, finish, I will go. Three, would take, spoke, wouldn't suffer, eight, good, say, stopped. Six, won't, perform, doesn't lose. Seven, was, where, would make. Eight, will have to, doesn't feel. Number three, one, unless. Two, provided that. Three, otherwise. Four, otherwise. Five, unless. Six, provided. Exercise four, expectancy, balanced, cut, sure, check up, diagnose, exercise, benefits, feet, aching, mirror, Twist it. Okay? That was all. From here, from here too. Bye bye books. Bye bye books. And then we go to um, the revision I have prepared. Okay? Is it clear? So we are going to do it on the board together. We are, go we are going to analyze. Uh, you are going, you have to study, remember, vocabulary, grammar, and everything. Yes? Okay? Is it clear? Good. So let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good, I'm going to put aside this. All right, there we are. Copy this in your notebook and solve it. Okay? Of course. 
the thing I'm going to, uh, this is an advice. You can copy this. Yes, you can copy this in your notebook. Okay. We are. Wait a minute. I need to put in order this. Okay. I think it's better. Yes. Okay. So. Okay, these are complete the sentences. Yes, these are complete the sentences, the following sentences using grammar and vocabulary studied this year. Okay, is it clear? So, number one, I'd like to in touch with. Yes, okay. So, we are going to copy these sentences. Yes. Yes. Okay. Listo. Okay. Well, so complete the sentences using grammar. You are going to copy these sentences. Okay, now is the time that you pause the video, copy the sentences. Solve the sentences and then listen to the answers, okay? From 1 to 11, yes? Okay, so that's why I'm projecting this. Yes, you pause the video, copy it, okay? Then, there are 30 sentences. Then, from 11 to 24 yes so you pause the video yes copy the sentences okay is it clear you understand what i'm saying yes okay good and then the last sentences okay All right? Yes? Good. So, now is the time that you pause the video. I'm going to work with the answers, okay? So, number one, I like to, yes, I like to in touch with other people from my age to talk about literature. I want to, yes, keep in touch, yes? Y te digo en donde está en la unit one. Keep in touch, yes? I want to keep in touch with people, with other people from my age to talk about literature. Number two, I would like medicine abroad. I would love to study. Que estoy, um, esto es grammar from unit one, to study. Y ahí tenés, verbs that go with to infinity, yes? Uh, without to. Yes, okay. ING to infinitive or infinitive without to. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que quiero lograr? Que vos te sepas cuáles son esos verbos. Así como te aprendías like, enjoy, don't like. Yes, I'd like to. Yes, this is from unit one, unit one, okay. Entonces, fui sacando un poco de cada unidad from unit one to unit six. But you need to study everything. 
not only the grammar, but also vocabulary, yes? Because most of the time you forget about vocabulary. Yes, okay, unit one, this is unit one, two. Okay, good. Uh, let's go to number three. You better, you better for this exam. It's going to be difficult. You better, you better. What those there are? ING, to infinitive, infinitive, infinitive without two. Okay, you better study. Yes, okay, infinitive. Okay, this is unit one, two. Okay, number four. I'm going, I am looking forward. I am looking forward. Okay, I am looking forward. Yes, okay. I am looking forward to, I am looking forward to me. It isn't, I oh know, pardon. I am looking forward to my friend. She's coming from Italy tonight. To sing, yes, okay, otra vez lo mismo, to infinitive, ing, infinitive without to, this is unit one. Are you laughing in on at, at me, are you laughing at me, yes, that is unit two. When I was 14 years old, I write poem, esto está trillado, used to. But this year you have used to, didn't used to, get used to, be used to, plus ing, okay? Así que, ojo ahí con las diferencias. This is unit two. Okay. I am not fond, fond playing board games. Fond, y vos tenés que saber qué proposition va ahí. This is unit three, okay? Fond of playing, okay? When I traveled, when I traveled, when I traveled, When I traveled to England, I was fascinated, you know, by, yes, unit three, okay, good. Exercise, you know, exercise, blah, 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 nine. What sentence? When I got there, there, there were people waiting, yes, waiting for the doctor. I had to wait, you know, many, yes, okay, good. One, several, también puede ser several, people waiting. So this is content from unit um, three, okay? Is it clear? Many, much, a lot, a little, yeah? So you have to revise this. Everything is in the grammar reference at the end of the book, okay? Good, I need milk for preparing your birthday cake. There is a, and there is just, you know, a little for uncountable, yes, okay? Good, so this is unit three also. Number 11, Peter up in prison, a phrasal verb, ended, ended up in prison. This is phrasal verb from unit three. I was very, you know, this is word building, yes, word building, unit three, two. Yes, okay, disappointed, yes, disappointed. Yes, okay, acuérdate que te puede tocar de un noun, un adjetivo, yes, changes, okay, good, let's go from 13, 13, 13, yes, okay, good. Good, so, uh, you can't with money, and you have happy. This is the adjective. What you need here? A noun. Happiness. Un sustantivo abstracto. Yes. Unit three also. Yes. Okay. Good. Uh, number 14. Do not try to get away from that shark. Yes. Okay. It will kill you all the same. So this is unit four. 
Okay? Number 15. Let me see. I have to work the answer to this, to this exercise. Work out. Yes? Okay? Calculate something. Yes? Okay? So this is the phrasal verb from unit 4. Okay? Uh, there are a lot of people who die from starving. You have starving. But you need the noun here. Starvation. 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 Okay? Después te pones de 30 cuánto te dio, eh? Okay, el score. I saw that accident from my window. Yes? Okay, starvation from, was from unit 4. Uh, it was, and you have terribly, the ad, adverb, but you need what? The adjective there. Terri terrifying, yes? Okay, good. Uh, I like Excuse me. Good, 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 good. I like there you have. I like buying because I consider you pay for the real price of them. I like what? I like buying on sale. Can be? Yes, all right. In sales, yes. I like buying in sales. Yes, that was vocabulary from unit five. Okay? Number uh, 20. The of Ferrari is a Cavalino rampante. Yes, okay. The logo, well done. So that is vocabulary from unit uh, five also. I think Mary, I think Mary, another baby in two years. So whenever you have things considered and everything, will have. Yes, okay, will have. Okay, when you believe, when you hope, so be, pay attention here. I think, I hope, I believe, introducing the will, okay? Good, it was unit five two, okay? Unit uh, exercise uh, sentence 22. Look at that car, it's coming, it's coming very fast to us. It's us, watch out. Tenemos la palabra watch out, tenemos look at that car. So we have an evidence, so you are going to complete with going to. It's going to crush us, okay? Good. After a few weeks living in Spain, I was a bit diff it was a bit difficult, but I could. I got used to, got used to living, yes? Yeah? So you have here, get used to plus ing, acostumbrarse, eh? Me acostumbré, en este caso, unit uh, five, yes? Okay? So let's go to 25, 24, sorry, 24. Yes, are you going to the gym? Are you used to going? ¿Estás acostumbrado? Okay, so you have used to for things in the past, get used to plus ing, and be used to. Acostumbrarse y estar acostumbrado. Get used to plus ing, and be used to plus ing. Okay, 25. <coughs> um, a fixed regular payment, typically paid monthly, often expressed as an annual sum. Yes, okay? So that is a, a salary. Yes, okay? That is vocabulary from unit 5. Exercise uh, 26. You have to fill in the application for, application for, form, and send us your CV online. And then you have 27. All right. Okay, 27. After 20, 20, 27, after her problem, she's feeling, she's feeling a bit more confident it is good for her self-esteem yes a bit more 
And then you have, this is grammar for unit six. Yes, all superlative, comparative, but with a bit more, a little, yes, okay, a little more, yes, okay, 28. So revise this. Yes, 28, uh, you wear a uniform at that private school. It is an obligation, of course, you have the moral verb, you must. Yes, must, have to, should, for advice, study all the uses, please, okay? And then you have 29, our company must, our company must, uh, we do not have to lose our position. Yes, okay, there, okay, what I wanted there. We do not have to lose, there was a phrase over there. Yes, okay, well, uh, stay ahead, yes, okay, stay ahead, yes, stay ahead, yes, okay. We do not have to lose our position in the local market, yeah? So, a stay ahead is a phrasal verb from unit 6, okay? We must stay ahead. We do not have to lose our position, yes? Mantenerse al frente, yes? I found your number by chance, yes? By chance, yes? Okay, I didn't expect to buy it, to, to find it. And when I was looking for some photos, I found it by chance, ¿ok? Bueno, espero que esto te sirva, espero que me hagas caso, que te copies todas las frases, que las resuelvas y ahí te vas a dar cuenta si estudiaste lo suficiente o si te falta seguir estudiando con estas 30 frases, ¿sí? ¿ok? Acá no está incluido el writing, yes, here is not included the reading, but I focus more on the vocabulary and on the grammar, so, the, so you can know, so that you can know and imagine that we have plenty of grammar and vocabulary to study, okay? Well, uh, I hope you study for next class. Bye-bye. See you next class.